Here we are for Pix11 Cares in the borough of Brooklyn. I am actually in Red Hook for the Red Hook development right now. This was a housing development that had uh, about four feet of water in it. Right now, we are a month after the storm hit. The water is gone, but the problems still remain. 20 of the 32 Red Hook houses had no heat, no hot water, and no power. Not just for a few days after the storm hit, but really for a few weeks. And residents want to know, why did it take so long for NYCH to come out here? Now, we have things like this out here. This this is a portable hot water heater that's now providing a hot water to the buildings. Again, this happened weeks after the storm hit. Now, uh, NYCHA also didn't come out here for 15 days after the storm hit to do a wellness check on these residents. Now, take a look over there where that number is, those numbers along the building. That's how high the water actually got here from the storm surge here at the Red Hook development. It took a few days to pump the water out of these buildings as well. Now, residents here are saying that weeks later, the problems that remain are mold inside the apartments. They now have power. They now have hot water. But the problem is mold, uh, and they want air quality testing, as well as a bunch of things that they're listing of demands for NYCHA. We have Tony Herbert here as a community activist. We have Desmond Hill here who's a resident. We also have Leslie who was here during the storm as well. Tony, problems with NYCHA right now? Um, they've got to show this community a lot more respect. They've got to get in here and do what's necessary to get these folks back to living a normal life. I mean, it took weeks for them to actually come out here and show that they did care. Now they, these residents are fed up. They have a list of demands. They want um, rent credits that's not coming until January. The commissioner says that's a gift. It's not a gift. It, it, it actually has to show some sense of respect to the community residents here and what have you. They're people, too. I mean, come on. With the damages that were suffered here and now the fact that they're now living without heat and hot water in a lot of these buildings, believe it or not, and there are messages being posted up that there's no heat and hot water, somebody's got to get in here and do the job. I, I, I believe in this mayor, and I think that he could put foot on the necks of those, in, those individuals over at NYCHA and get the job done, and it has to be done now. You know, we're a month after the storm hit. Moving forward, what can NYCHA do to show the, these residents that they care? What can they do right now? A month after the storm. Let's, let's get some heat and hot water down here. Let's step up this game. I mean, I know a lot of people espousing energies elsewhere, but this is important, too. There are residents down here who never had anything, so show them the respect. And secondarily, let's pull back that rent for the second, you know, that November and December date. Let's not have them pay that. Give them a credit, and let's not wait till January. Let's get it done now. And, and Desmond, we, we spoke to you earlier. We have these pictures, actually, of what's going on inside. You see the outside of the buildings. Everything looks business as usual right now, but it's the inside of the problems that, inside of the apartments that are the problem. Yes, they're they're cold, they're damp, they're moist, and we, we need to get somebody in here to, to clean it up now, actually. And, and, and what's going on inside your apartments? On the 14th floor, you have a mold problem. Yes, the 14th floor, like I told you guys earlier, the walls are sweating because of the cold air that was inside. You know, there was no heat. So then the mold just started appearing out of nowhere, and it's actually disgusting. And mold spreads quick that we know that. So, what, you know, air quality testing, mold abatement, water testing, that's needed All now. All of the above. All of the above. And, like, you know, residents like Leslie G., who's a stalwart down here and very known, he's been out here day one. So, you know, we come down here and we're working with him and others to make sure that we get this thing done. People like Janet New, um, New we call J-Lo, um, Rob Iniquity. These are folks down here. They're the grassroots folks who need this assistance so they can help the other folks down here right now. Now, we tried to get NYCHA to actually come down here today to speak to the residents, to speak to you guys, to get them out here and show their appearance. They uh, denied the request to come down here, but they did meet with residents on Monday. They had a meeting. Uh, how did you hear that meeting went? I was at the meeting, actually, and I think that NYCHA has some very good managers. I think that the the level above that has some issues, and they need to correct that. John Rhea needs to go. That's just what this is. We need folks that really care about this community to make things happen, and we hope that that can take place immediately. Okay. Well, it was a, a positive thing that they did meet with the residents. It 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 was it was a start. But, you know, we, we need work to be right. done, and we right. need it done now. Right. And we wanted to actually have them down here to give their side of the story. They did give us a statement. That's the best that they were able to do for us. They said, in Red Hook, we have engaged partners who share our commitment to ensure that needed repairs and other storm-related issues are addressed. And we look forward to working together to produce successful results. A very generic, broad statement. We are going to stay on top of NYCHA to make sure they actually come down here and fix the problems for Desmond, like the mold problem. We'll stay on top of this one. We'll check back in with Tony and these residents here in the next hour. But for now, we are live in Red Hook, Brooklyn, for Pix11 Cares. Back to you, Craig and Tamsin. Incredible. There's so much to still be done. Yeah. Dan, thank you.